Hey guys, and welcome to another Lego Time video. So, we've just conducted a battery power test with the Chevron AAA Alkaline Long Lasting Power. So, this pack costs $10. So, there's 24 batteries, 6 batteries per run. So, that is 4 runs for $10. And what we found out was that these batteries lasted a big 33 minutes that's right 33 minutes and 15 seconds and the last two and a half to three minutes was very pitiful in itself so um now six 1.5 volt batteries they offer a total of nine volts in series now there's another battery that we have, which is called a nine volt battery. Now, one of these batteries is the same as having six of these batteries in. So I'm gonna try and test it with this. But first, what I'm about to do is I am modifying this from how it was originally built and constructed. Uh, if this blows up or whatever, it is purely my fault. If you want to try this at home, um, make sure you have parents help. And also if you're an adult yourself, any damage that this causes uh, to your engine or to your Lego or to your battery or to your motor, I am not held responsible for because this is a test that I am doing. It may work for me, but if anything happens to your equipment, I am not held responsible for because it is your choice whether you wish to do this modification or not. I'm just doing this purely in the art of science and to see if this actually works. Now, when we take the battery pack off of here, let's clip it out, let's unclip it. So we have our battery pack. Now, I'm thinking I might get the camera a little bit closer. To do this, we are going to need a nine volt battery terminal. Now this cost me a dollar, dollar 20 or a dollar 10 or a dollar 40 at uh, JB, not JB, at um, JCar electronics one of these costs about a dollar 40 at j car now i am going to unscrew my battery now i'm only going to do a temporary fix so i'm not looking at soldering it yet or anything like that purely for the fact is until i've got what is better value whether we've got six of these or one of these is better value um then i am not going to do anything permanent to the battery pack so we have the battery pack and yes the battery fits in nicely so it does fit um, if we put that on and then we close it up it rattles around a little bit but yeah so now this has the two the positive and negative terminals here which then slide onto the positive and negative terminals there. So if I look here, this is the negative and this is the positive. So the positive power is going in here, the negative power is going in here. So I'm going to take this and I am going to I've put the positive wire in and the negative wire and I've just stuck some blue tack there just as a temporary hold. Again, if this damages this battery pack, you'll see it first here and don't try it at home. But if it works, again, you're trying it at your own, uh, your own responsibility, your own um, peril. Okay? So, now... When this fits in, it's got some wires. Um, it 
doesn't shake around. I've got power. And I've got it connected. So I've got it connected. Now, um, this is a brand new battery as you've seen. So we will we'll do the speed test yet again. We will do the speed test yet again to see how long this battery is going to last inside this locomotive. So we put this on. We put this on. Make it look. Make it look right. Um, let's reset our clock. There we go. So in one minute, we are going to start our new time test. Forty-five seconds. Let's clear this up. We are testing the nine volt battery. Um, 30 seconds. Remove the camera back. So there we go, um, the Chevron Alkaline lasted 17 minutes and 30 seconds. So this battery here cost $2 each and it lasted 17 minutes. Six of these batteries, um, six of these batteries cost $2.50 and lasted nearly double the time. So yeah, so um, the nine volt battery is possibly not an option over the standard AAA, uh, AAA batteries, but 
we have another option okay so it does fit in the battery box so let me just open this up and it is very easy um, if I do decide to use the the these batteries then there's always the option um, maybe maybe on the higher end batteries these are these are okay and they work they work fine um, take this out batteries a little warm to touch battery box seems fine blue tack everything still everything's still fine in there um, so yeah so thanks very much for watching um, definitely value for money is this over this with chevron but um but yeah thanks for watching and um wait out for my next video which i will be looking at a nine volt rechargeable bye for now if you like this video smash that like button don't forget to subscribe i've got a thousand subscriber giveaway as soon as i hit a thousand subscribers i am going to draw uh, that and whoever guesses the number of pieces in the bottle is going to win a bottle full of Lego. I know. Which battery did I use? Okay, this battery is dead. So this battery is good. Let's put that there and let's take these batteries out of here because these are also flat one two three four five six